my wallet is sobbing. I can hear it. From, I can hear it in the hall now. It is breaking down, crying. Turns out that Attila, the arrogant so-and-so, he's got a fake hammer. Oh, a fake? Yeah. Whoa. As I say, dick. Welcome to the Your Allegiance Podcast, episode number 63. Sounds good, huh? 63. <laughs> Six off the magic number. <laughs> way, way to go, Mal Smut. Straight away. Yeah, starting starting strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um yeah, so this is episode sixty-three. We have uh tonight got an interview with the Mythic Enablers. Um so you've seen them probably on the Legion's lounge this week already. Um so we chatted to them, I think, even before they're going on that show. And uh the interview is great. We tried to uh, cover some maybe different ground than they were going to cover on the Legion's Lounge. So um, hopefully you will enjoy that chat. Um, yeah, and uh, we just got a few things to talk about before uh, we get over to them. So we won't keep you too long. But uh, first thing uh, i got to say is uh, welcome, Mal, even though we've uh, talked already. How are you? I am all good, thank you. Uh, yeah. Always fun to record. Yeah, busy days at work. They're not even that busy. They're just long, <laughs> They're a little bit tedious at the moment. But, yeah. It's kind of a it's that type of time of the year, isn't it? Kind of where you're not, we're not quite into summer yet, and it's just kind of I feel like I'm in a holding pattern, waiting for kind of nice to do weather. other. Yeah, just to, yeah, the world to open up a little bit more for me, you know. Yeah, uh, and Rich has the crack with you. Fine, work's extremely busy at the moment. Yeah. Um, Oh no! And it's end of year review pit time as well, so I, I've got my own tomorrow. I'm having to do my staffs at the moment, which are the most oh, tedious end, things. Do you run to end of April or no? Run to the end of March, that, but you got to the end of April to actually do March, the review. And then, so yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So um, so me being me, I've left until the last minute. Um, oh, that's oh, yeah. Well, that's done. no surprise to us. Yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I get it. To be fair, Rich, I haven't had mine. We haven't done ours yet. And the manager keeps apologizing. And we're all just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None you of us are uh, end of year review kind of guys in my team. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm not sure I'm going to get much out of it. So you know what? I can long finger that. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't give a flying fudge about mine. It's just like, whatever. <laughs> It's yeah. box ticking. We don't get uh, we don't get bonuses. No, exactly. As soon, yeah, soon as I got rid of the bonuses from Mars related, people. yeah. As soon as I got rid of the bonuses yeah. from Mars, I lost all interest in interview reviews. It's like yeah, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, and there's no with, incentive no. for anything, you know, you know. Um, but what there is incentive for is uh, the mystery boxes, and uh, that <laughs> went up on sale uh, on Monday, and uh, it did. Uh, I wasn't tempted at all. Uh, I did just. Do my usual, put one in the basket, just see what shipping would be. Um, but it was pretty good. It was 30. Uh, so that was pretty good. I think uh, you you guys in the UK were the same. But uh, in the end, uh, I'm saving my cash for future drops from the horseman and whatever else. For the dragon. You know. For the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> exactly. I, I, as you know, decided I, I'd give it a go. That That less than 30 shipping convinced me to have a mm. pop and see what I got. Uh, if, if it's not what I want, stick it on the UK cabal for it's just less than 45 quid I think it comes to a, a yeah. figure, so or Why trade, not? but you know. yeah, or, cu- or custom parts, so it's not the worst. I, I think the key difference for me with you guys was that uh, you can order one figure probably without getting customs fees, whereas I get customs on the first the first euro, so yeah, it wasn't really worth it. I think it also made I, there was more chance of me getting something I hadn't got. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, yeah. So kind of made you know I understand why you guys decided against it. Completely. Yeah, I was going to say for the but yeah, I thought stuff it. for the first time ever, my wallet is not sobbing at the moment. It is quite happy and content. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, no money spent on the mystery boxes. There yeah. we go. Exactly. It's a few more, um, few more good things coming up. My birthday is in a few weeks, so I'm hoping they maybe uh, announce something 
uh, around that time, I, early May. So for a second, there, I thought it was a hint you wanted me to buy you something. No, no. It's like, yeah, well, if your wallet's <laughs> happy, present. then yeah, my birthday's coming your, up. <laughs> your pre- your present to me is turning up on time every week, and you're, oh, you're doing Jesus okay. Jesus Christ, okay. I'm sorry I'm such a, sh- a shite friend in terms of presents. <laughs> no, there is a margin for error here. You know, if, if you ever run statistics, there is a little margin for error. I, was on and t- I think you're probably I was on time today. That. Yeah, true. I, d- I did actually think for a second we should we should have done this bit because we just to let people listening in behind the scenes a little bit. I did actually think that we should just do this intro with me and John and we could comment that Rich is cooking the dinner <laughs> so, that, so that the interview people will get the start of that when they hear the interview we do have to worn the same shirts and everything and that's that's yeah, a lot yeah, of organisation for that <laughs> well I did it's just a hoodie you know but there you go anyway no, too, much too, of, uh, too much of too much of inside knowledge there um, <laughs> you're getting cut Mal that's what he's saying that bit's getting cut no 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 I like it it's staying in um, right, so a couple of things to get to before, um, because I know that uh, Trevor and the boys kept them backstage a long time uh, before getting the enablers on, so we're not going to do that quite to them. Uh, I wanted to do a couple of uh, topics before we go into that. The number one is we're going to intern. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All three of us, we were very yeah. kindly invited by the studio. Um, so we did apply for intern. Uh, we didn't get selected in the in that kind of draw, in the public draw, so to speak. But we got invited uh, as we uh, do podcasts in the community, and they felt that uh, uh, they would like to invite us. Um, so we're very, very excited and happy about that. And that will mean that we'll be there a day earlier than last year, which is cool. Uh, it'll maybe give us more time to get in or you'll be on the same schedule Rich, I'll be on the but, same uh, schedule yeah yeah but as you've been there before you can kind of you can kind of chill on the intern day you don't need to be as hyper excited as me oh well I'll, I'll still be very excited I might spend <laughs> yeah. I might spend a little longer with the breakfast table than I did last time to be honest if I don't have to rush <laughs> to anything because yeah. that was a good set of breakfast goodies hey there you go there's something to look forward to on top of everything else and uh you can maybe do a little bit more uh, poking your head behind curtains to see what you can see, you know? <laughs> no. And I, then get, no. <laughs> absolutely not. I will be wearing a pair of like, what do the horses wear? Like the, the, the side things. So they blinkers, can't be yeah, blinkers. Blinkers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll be wearing a pair of those <laughs> and just following whoever the guide is so that I can't be accused of seeing anything <laughs> yeah. too soon or, you know. <laughs> staying within, staying within two or three yards of Jeremy. Yeah. So that uh, <laughs> he, he knows at all times you're behaving yourself. Yeah. I was really well behaved last time. I walked in, I saw that giant. I know you were. The yeah. Oleg statue. Jeremy dragged me to the giant Oleg statue, in fact, <laughs> showed it to me. And then I, you know, it was like, yeah, brilliant. I will keep my mouth shut about that. Yeah, you didn't even tell us, I don't think. No, that's because I'm, you know. No. Yeah, good lad. Yeah. Or because you were off drinking somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I couldn't rule that out either, if I'm honest, but. <laughs> so that's oh, awesome. I'm so. so yeah, thank it's you, a, uh, Jeremy and the studio for uh, that honor. Yeah, um, you guys will love it. It's such such yeah. a good day. It's just it's just like a wow. Yeah. Everything's just like a wow, wow, wow yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, even my kids were impressed when I told them. So that's something. Um, yeah, and then a couple of other quick things. Uh, we wanted to remind all you West Coast uh, American people uh, about the Mythic Legions, the Mythic Meetup. Uh, second annual in Sacramento, California uh, at toyfusion.com. That's 2230 Arden Way uh, and 1574 Howe Avenue, Sacramento. So um, that'll be May 4th and 5th. Um, you got a lot of cool people there, um, including is uh, Walter, is so is Ramirez, Walter Hagen, and Nate Barch. Um, a few others that I know that will be there. Uh, Eric LeBron, I'm sure he's, he's there. I think I saw a poster is was saying that Eric will be there. Um, I think there was some others there last year. I'm not sure if they're there this year, like um, Dave Williams and those guys. Yeah, I think the Arizona boys. Uh, Wyatt there last said he was year. going. Wyatt is going. There you go. So Wyatt, who we're going to be talking to very soon, he'll be going. So all those West Coast guys. So 
Uh, if you're anywhere on the West Coast that's within range of uh, Sacramento, give it a whiz. It's the whiz. <laughs> <laughs> or, a sh- or a short flight as Nate's flying to do it. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just true. That's true. But he is, fun. Yeah. He is part of the studio, so I suppose uh, um, it is kind of work. But yeah, uh, I would fly if I was anywhere within a couple of hours, definitely. Same, yeah. If I, if I had infinite funds, this is one I would definitely go along to. Yeah. Some very yeah, cool people, like you said. I'll tell you what, boys. If I win 150 awesome. million on the Euro Millions, I'll buy a private jet and the three of us can fly over to whatever we fancy. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> yeah. Every, every event. Every event, we'll yeah. Just, do, just tell the family, I'm just off we'll for the just weekend. we go to Bye. a different... Yeah, we'll just do a different location every week to record the show. And, you know, whoever shows up wants to, you know. We can we can just fly to each patron's house. <laughs> uh, right, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about very quickly uh, for those House of the Noble Bear fans. I'm uh, sorry for everybody else. Uh, <laughs> I stumbled across this cool Kickstarter. Um, by these guys uh, in France. Uh, it's called Barbarians from Conan to He-Man. Um, so it's a, it's a basically a cinematic history of that period and also the uh, it's called the, the Conanization or something of... Conan exploitation. Conan exploitation, sorry, of, uh, of uh, the era. Um, so anyone that's into that kind of era stuff, um, it's a basically a coffee table book. Um, and it originally was in French and the Kickstarter is for uh, the, basically the English version of this book. There's a very um, uh, well-known uh, Conan expert, uh, an expert from the era who translates these kind of books from French to English and they're very well done. Uh, and the book was 25 euros for me with three euros shipping. So uh, 28 euros for me for a really cool coffee table book i think mal your shipping was maybe a couple of euros more but not much yeah i think it was about five euros but yeah i mean yeah. that's it's nothing yeah. is it for a book yeah. could be and it'll be a decent sized book as well yeah so by the time this pod goes out there's 24 days to go as we record now on, on tuesday and there'll be uh, probably 19 20 to go uh by the time uh you listen to this. So um, yeah, have a look at it if it's, that's your thing. Uh, just thought it was really cool. And they also offer a chance to get their previous release, uh, which is After the World Ends, um, a post-apocalyptic movies uh, from a similar era, 70s and 80s. And is this a, uh, and that, is this a Kickstarter, is it? It's Did a I miss Kickstarter, that bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a Kickstarter. And it's uh, 38,000 already. Uh, out of their 1,000 goals, so they're they're making it, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they have all sorts of other uh, stuff like uh, mouse mats and stickers and uh, pins and all this kind of stuff you could get on top. But it's one for the basic. And there's a if you're looking at this, there's a basic idea of the layout of the book. So looks pretty cool, I have to say. My favorite extra, which I did get the one that they don't give you all of them, but with their uh, coasters, beer coasters. Oh yeah, um, yeah, with, uh, yeah. Uh, posters, old Italian style posters on. Because I mean, I don't know all the information behind it, but in Italy, quite often they would have their own posters for for these films, wouldn't they? And they yeah. sort of become a bit of an art in themselves. So that that'll be cool. I think I'll That's awesome. just stick them in a frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So uh, that's that. Yeah. If you're into that, I, I thought it was worth a shout out. We both backed it here, Rich. Uh, just uh, kind of went. I just bad mouthed it. But I was going to. I was going to yeah. say, you know, it's um, it's a coffee table book or a toilet read book. Yeah. And if you're running out of toilet paper, then you've got instant, you know, ways to deal with the thing as well. So there we go. Well, on that uh, note, uh, things can only get better, and they probably are going to get better as we. Uh, go over and talk to the Mythic Enablers. So we have some very special guests here at Your Allegiance this week. Uh, at this stage, by the time you hear this episode, they'll have been all over the place. They'll have had their episode out for this week. They'll have been on Legion's Lounge. 
Uh, and now they're going to be on our show. And who knows what they're in. Maybe they're on Mythic Conversations and uh, whatever else goes on during the week as well. I don't know. So anyway, it's the Mythic Enablers. So we have, uh, I'll take it from the top of the screen. So we have Joe Bro Russo. How are you, Joe? <laughs> Evening, evening, gentlemen. I guess it's evening your end over there, mid afternoon over here. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I, I wouldn't normally call you Joe, bro, but you know, I have to go by what you put on the screen, you know. <laughs> it's okay, you can come whatever you want. <laughs> love the shades, love the shades. Are you trying I to didn't kind of it was, I didn't realize it was comedy glasses day, otherwise, I'd have worn <laughs> you. Are you trying to impress Cosmic Mal or what? Yeah, right. <laughs> Eric's on here with us. I had to put on my, my cosmic goggles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want yeah, the next time we have a cosmic episode, I think I'm gonna steal Eric. That's that's a good idea. He's the man. Huh? He's <laughs> definitely man. need to. And we have Wyatt. We have Wyatt, my buddy. Uh hey, uh, audit, hi, audio editing. He's the John of uh, Mythic Enablers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't well, call myself the John. Oh, you haven't reached your level yet. You're way better looking, that. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have that going for you. <laughs> well, that doesn't take much of you, does it, John? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man! And you're all well. I'm happy there. to be here. I, I'm yeah. having a fanboy moment here. You're, I love. I love the, your podcast. Oh, cool, cool. Well, hopefully, we'll get to see, meet in person in November. So that'll be uh, yeah. that'll be fun. We're all booked up that'll anyway. Awesome. So, barring disasters, um, <laughs> and you're all the way over there in the West Coast. So yeah, I was going to say it's good morning, morning for you. Or, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have you had breakfast yet? Eleven or something. I did. I did have some breakfast. I've been awesome. watching. Uh, I had some breakfast, and then I watched um, an episode of Shogun. Have you guys seen that yet? Oh, I watched the first episode. I think. Yeah, um, really, really good got, show. I haven't had time to get into. There's so many good things at the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's tough. Um, I love yeah. watching. Uh, I love watching Richard eat his br his <laughs> his his dinner while we're talking about breakfast down at the bottom yeah. of the screen. There, we're worldwide. Yeah. He did shoot me a message about an hour before recording, said, yeah, I'm, di I'm on dinner duty this evening. And I was like, okay, I'm past experience. He might not show up. <laughs> that yeah. would be very rude for yeah, a guest. Sure. So, like, my, so my good I'm, lady wife does most of the uh, the culinary stuff in this house. So there's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, because usually the house is in flames by the time you're done. Yeah, so. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's not that he's doesn't he hasn't made the dinner on time. It's that he's burnt down the house, and that's why he can't <laughs> podcast. You know, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm I'm quite happy that he's just here. Eat away, Rich. You know, just put yourself on mute. Nobody will notice. Um, anyway, back to the main event. Uh, we have Eric, uh, Eric Miller. Uh, I was I knew of Eric uh, very well before they started the Mythic Enablers because he was quite a prominent guy in the community with all the customizing and we did have him on the show last year uh, in the run up to Legion's Con and um, so not his first time on the show but uh, first time as part of the Mythic Enablers. Uh, so how are you Eric? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. I didn't yeah. think I was going to be able to make it. Yeah. Uh, ended up being able to. So I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Noah messaged me saying, do you mind if Eric makes it? No, he's actually had a change of plans. I was like, yeah, of course he can make it. <laughs> uh, so that was awesome. Um, yeah. So great to have you and uh, great to see that you're part of the enablers and we get to hear a lot more about what's going on. Not just you showing up in November with these awesome customs. You go, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot of fun just hanging out with my friends. So yeah. it's been great. It's nice to just uh, it's nice to just kind of get that chat in person rather than just in text, isn't it? I got I got to say, killing me gushing over the Mezco turtles. <laughs> my order got cancelled um, when they were due to be delivered and. So I'm like really sore about them. <laughs> yeah. I, I had an update too, Mal. My order got cancelled as well. Oh, really? That's a, that's a this is yeah, a, start a enablers first. Who, yeah. yeah. Oh, Noah's shown them. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, Sorry, guys. Who did you order from? What? Or like a retailer? <laughs> or like a they're a retail third party? Thing? They're a retailer. They have a couple places, a couple like actual brick and mortar spots okay. in the states. Um, I had never ordered from them before, but like. I saw that they were one of the people that still had them up for pre-order when they were kind of starting to uh, disappear. So I was okay. just like, okay, I'll, I'll place it and we'll see. And it took about a month. And then they were like, well, we're getting another round from the distributor. And they said they only got half of their fulfillment. And mm. so I was SOL there, which sucks. Yeah. So that was, yeah. yeah. I, so I feel you, I man. Ordered it from, yeah. Place I ordered yeah. it from. I mean, I pre-ordered it back in November. Uh, last year um but they apparently only got like their orders that they put in in march or something of the previous year wow that was it yeah, yeah yeah that's that stings that sucks you yeah, pre yeah. way ahead yeah 
That's a bummer. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is a tough one. <laughs> I'm with you. Shit that is a tough one about this this retailer model. Sometimes, at least with the horsemen, okay, it might take longer. But if you order direct from them, you're probably not going to get it shorted yeah. because even if they short you, they're just going to turn on the the factory again the and, and run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's totally true. I've never um, had that issue with the the horse. And also, Mezco or they don't communicate, so they probably no. have had loads of people complaining directly to them, and they just they just shut it out. You know, they don't care, do they? No. Yeah, that's anyway, always ha- turned me off of Mezco. Happily sitting there with his Mezco turtles, <laughs> uh, boo! <laughs> with with, the, with a really cool background. Uh, no, you've upgraded. He he asked me if we were going to maybe put this on YouTube, and I said yes, probably. And uh, he, yeah, he's gone to the the fancy, cool, nerdy part of the house. I love it. Yeah, that that was. I don't know what was. When did I message you? Maybe an hour ago. I, mm-hmm. I set all this up specifically uh, for you guys. So, wow, that's um, awesome. you're welcome. So you just built the dial <laughs> and then put the video games and the toys and whatever else on it, or is it just toys? Yeah, can't see. Uh, it's just toys. Okay, cool. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And how's the crack with you? Otherwise, uh, crack's all good here. Um, yeah. weather, weather's real good. <laughs> um, everybody's healthy. I, I can't ask for more. Cool. And you have you managed turtles. to trap down the, you've got your turtles. Have you managed to track down what? the spice bag yet in Minnesota? <laughs> no. Um, you know what? I, I haven't found the spice bag. If anybody out there can, can point me, point me towards a good spice bag here on uh, stateside. Yeah. I'm sure it exists. At me. You know, we've got the everything DMs. over there. So, you know. I'm not familiar with what a spice bag is. What are we talking about? Be- Before you go into that, Wyatt, can I just say a spice yeah. bag in Ireland is very, very different to what we term a spice bag in this country. <laughs> yeah. okay. This country, it's, really it's illegal rude? and okay. it's made by chemists. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So just That's to clear on that, nice. this is the Irish one we're talking about. So we're, we're getting banned in the UK now for that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically, you get it here, yeah. <laughs> usually from a Chinese restaurant and it's uh, it's like French fries, uh, crispy mm. chicken. So usually like kind of breaded chicken um, and then kind of veggies like peppers, onions, stuff like that. And loads of, uh, loads of spices mixed into it. So interesting. That's what it is. And you yeah. just eat out of the bag. Yeah, traditionally you yeah. get it on the way home from the pub, but they have kind of turned it oh. into now a uh, one that you can just get, you know, in the restaurant on a plate. But or- originally it came from like, like takeaway, takeaway places. Yeah, That sounds like something that would be very good after drinking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it would make you want to drink more, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's our version of Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White Castle. Slide by, the old, <laughs> slide by the old Taco Bell, White Castle, yeah, Crystal Burgers, <laughs> Mickey D's, grab something crazy to go down and then pass out. <laughs> yeah, we all know this. Um, yeah, we need, we, need a, we need a food truck to come up to that hotel in Le- at Legion's Con at around midnight. It'd be great, wouldn't it? The, I mean, there yeah. is a good restaurant there and all, but like, I just want something really dirty. That what time. are you talking about, John? We're all a bunch of choir boys at that <laughs> Legion's Con. We're always <laughs> drinking or having fun or partying. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Although if you go to the My Wife's Gonna Kill You show, you get free pizza, so that's good. If you can get in there in time to 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 eat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. That <laughs> it was. Good. I remember um, when we when I almost said we as if I'm a part of the studio when the studio switched to doing Legion's Con at the new hotel a couple of years ago. Um, I made a post in the Cabal uh, that year, and when they announced it. And I said, all right, we're, which lobby are we drinking in? And like, I got a bunch of likes and comments. And then Jeremy actually responded and was like, I'm sorry, why we can't do any drinking in the lobby this year. Please don't drink in the lobby. <laughs> like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, but it still turned out okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it turned out okay. I think, I think once you behave <laughs> with those things, you usually get away from them. I get away with them. Um, very good guys. Well, um, as you're going to be on Legion's Lounge, and as I'm sure uh, everyone listens and watches Legion's Lounge, they're going to hear more your origin story. And if they listen to your wonderful show, which they should, uh, they've heard your origin story. So we won't go too much into that uh, with us today. Uh, but I did want to talk a little bit about how maybe I was involved a little bit at the start with you guys. And uh, also how originally I had chatted with Noah at Legions Con and then afterwards about, you know, the podcast and, uh, you know, he was really interested in it and, you know, kind of, uh, you even came up and 
did that live stream with us, didn't you? With uh, yeah. the Legion's Lounge guys. So that was kind of your jam, you know? So I was like, okay, this guy, I, I know this guy wants to start a show. And I didn't really realize that you had this kind of group of, you know, that's group within the community. I mean, I knew you had loads of friends within the community, but I didn't understand the enablers thing. And obviously when I heard about it, I was like, okay, that's, that's a podcast right there. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saying uh, that. <laughs> and then it started off with just you wanted to kind of you really did it right it took time but you asked me for advice on the equipment that everyone should get within reason obviously you know of course we could all just buy you know throw money at the problem uh but there is a balance uh especially when <laughs> especially yes. when you know you don't Thank know if you. you're gonna you don't know if you're gonna do it or you know even like i'm a bit of a gearhead but even i didn't invest that much until we had a good few episodes done and i was like okay this is the thing now i, I you know i'm if i do buy something I, i'm probably going to get good use out of it and not going to be sitting there going oh remember when i did that <laughs> and then i bought that couple of hundred dollars thing and now it's like yeah just not being used <laughs> <laughs> yeah i, I so ended up with two webcams because i placed an order and one did not arrive fast <laughs> enough and i got frustrated <laughs> and went to target and bought the other one <laughs> and then that the, the exp expired on the return for the first one and i'm too oh, lazy no. to return the amazon one so now i got two so <laughs> which is yeah, completely totally ironic because we're a podcast and you can't see us anyway so the guy <laughs> it doesn't even matter ah, but it's, it doesn't it's even good matter. it's good to we see each to other see though you know it's good to to see each other and i think that's the important thing i mean I put the podcast up on YouTube now, but as I was saying, uh, it's more because I found a workflow that works, but I still 100% prioritize the audio. You know, if someone's webcam is crappy or doesn't work or, or you know, we don't have slides uh, to talk through, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll just use the video as it is and won't worry too much about it. And I'm still just editing really the audio. Um, mm -hmm. Because I think now, in the future we would like to see, uh, yeah. like to add an occasional video component mm. to like how you guys do it. You guys yeah. really do it well. Yeah, I mean, and I definitely think you guys could live stream uh, the odd time. Uh, obviously, we do it uh, kind of to do giveaways and, and stuff like that. So uh, I think that's a fun way to do it. Uh, the live stream thing, though, every week is kind of, uh, there's a lot of people at it. And I think there's, there's not enough people doing podcasts in relation to that. And podcasts for me can be more timeless. Like someone could find our show and probably go back to maybe not the start at this point, but maybe, you know, 10 or 15 episodes and it's still kind of uh is listenable whereas live streams you generally just go forward to the next one you know and follow it so uh, it's very easy to pick up and like i've yeah. had times where i sometimes will watch some of your episode on youtube and then mm. listen to it also like through the mm. podcast player yeah so i'm double dipping on your allegiance right and <laughs> nice. uh, <laughs> bump those numbers and bump those yeah, i'm bumping those numbers up for you guys um <laughs> And it's just nice to have the podcast option too, where like I can just pick that up and take it with me and not have, yeah. you know, that's my have the YouTube player open, you know, yeah. that's my thing. Cause I do a lot of stuff during the day where I can be listening to stuff um, and I do a good bit of driving as well. So, uh, it, you know, it's great to have uh, something to listen to. And then I feel that when people are, you know, when, when it's a live stream, that's all cool and that, but it's way cooler to be there at the time to listen to a live stream because you get the chance to chat and, and also people's comments. Whereas if you're listening back to a live stream, you're like, oh, what are the, sometimes they don't even maybe, if you're not looking at screen, you don't see what comment or if they don't put the comment up, you're kind of get lost, you know? Whereas if you're sitting there in the live chat at the time, it kind of works better. Yeah. Well, uh, if we take a look at our chat real quick, Noah just said Rich's dinner looks pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a bit of a live chat going we on. We have right a now. little mini live <laughs> chat going that people can't see off to the side. <laughs> yeah, I like it when Thanks. you get when you get a, a YouTube show and they post post the, the comment that they're talking about, like Jeremy's show and some of the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That is cool. And especially if it's uh, like when the Four Horsemen run their uh, stream and you get a comment uh, pinned up, that's... Uh, that's always quite cool. Yeah, because yeah, there's 5,000 comets flying around in there. Mm. Like at 120 yeah. miles an hour, you can't keep up with them for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. When there's a wave announcement, it's like crazy. Yeah. 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 I, I I think Jeremy probably goes back through the, the the comments like the day later to kind of just gauge the feedback because it's very hard at the time just as they're, they're spinning down through it. I never thought about that, but you're probably right. He probably does do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he's marketing this job, he's the right? Marketing director, so I yeah. think he could he could definitely say it's work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. We know Jeremy. He's definitely doing that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> very and, thorough. And, and probably should, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's counting how many times people say, "Where's the dragon?" and he's putting them on a 
He's putting him on a death list. <laughs> yeah. He calls that his no list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm number one with a bullet. <laughs> so anyway, no, tell us how that went then when you kind of uh, brought up the whole gear thing. I mean, were they like, oh, well, I have a phone, you know, what are we at here? <laughs> or, or was well, it a little bit more? No, no. It, it, these, like, as soon as... I mean, we all kind of uh, started chatting about it organically. I don't know exactly who who started the spark, but I I, I can say that I definitely um, pushed on the guys a little bit, you know, as far as, mm-hmm. you know, gathering the gear and all that stuff. But it, yeah. I mean, they were definitely willing. It was, it's just a matter of taking the time to, you know, to actually place the orders and things like that. Noah's yeah. being massively sweet right now. Yeah, he is. It was like pulling teeth. <laughs> Get us all on board. There's five of us and some of us dragged our feet. Some of us got it right away, but uh, yeah. Mike had to get a computer. Yeah, Mike had to go all the way out and buy a computer for it. <laughs> yep. It's probably worth saying at this point that unfortunately Mike couldn't make it. It's not that he hates us. Yeah. So um, Mike had a, another thing today. Um, and when you've got five people, uh, if you get four of them for the show, it's probably fine. Uh, we can manage. But let's be uh, honest. Mike's out, Mike's out there sending, uh, signing Zendi autographs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a signing today. He definitely is. Yeah. I was going to ask, actually, the enablers, if Mike isn't here because he couldn't get his, f- his head onto the screen now that he had a um, character <laughs> named after him. He's just like, yeah, I'm too big for this now. Here we go. 100%. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it he man. started sending us paperwork to sign and I don't know, all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, old now. yeah. On that, I don't know if you guys remember, but on, on like, was it episode two or something? You actually said, I can't, I forget who, but someone was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if they did a repaint yeah. to that head and included it? And mm. it was like, <laughs> called it. <Right. laughs> Sometimes you got to will that stuff into the universe, Mal. <laughs> but now he's got two. He's got basically two figures, guys. One kind of pretty much official. It's really not fair. Uh, and yeah. look, yeah. and look at all of us are working right now. Yeah. And where's this guy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's out there stepping my ties on the beach. <laughs> he's out there negotiating his third figure, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is. <laughs> yeah. He's talking with Eric right now. He's like, "Oh, I think you you should have you should have sculpted a little bit different, like this this one little piece." <laughs> <laughs> What's his favorite character uh, type of character, or is he is he kind of I, barbarian? I'm not sure, definitely. is he barbarian? Yeah, probably barbarians, yeah. 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 I mean, I have listened to all your shows, but I'm trying to think. I know Joe is a nightman, and obviously. I feel like that's sure is. common knowledge. <laughs> yeah. He sure is. Mike, yeah, Mike definitely that. likes his. Uh, Mike likes the magic users yeah. quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, he does look like magic yeah. users too. That's yeah. right. Definitely. I and think having know, one named after him probably helped that a lot. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. But I think yeah. well, why it's your your Basilia like me as your favorite? I mean, I, I like nearly all of them, but yeah, mm-hmm. you have to prioritize one. I'm not going to do mal on this. Um. So. Uh, and Eric is, uh, you like all the creatures and monsters and all that kind of stuff. Um, you don't like the kind of pl- plain vanilla stuff. Not that I don't kind of, like it. I just no, don't like but it as you don't, much. Yeah. yeah. But there's been ones that I've heard, heard you talk about and then suddenly it's like, oh, I've heard this little aspect of it. And suddenly I'm like all in on it. So I love that. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> this is kind of, it could be a bio piece. It could be like uh, something to do with the story or, yeah, love that. And Noah Barbarians. Yeah, I, I definitely like barbarians myself. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were all I waiting. Who that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them anyway. They don't have to be the titty barbarian either. I, I mean, I'm no. good with <laughs> Frazetta Girls regular. has that has yeah, that locked they, and loaded. If anyone wonders what the titty barbarian was, the Frazetta Girls. Uh, what's her name, Mal? Uh, Tigra. Tigra. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> not that it's a bad figure of call, of, of course, no. but just not. It's not my style, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe some 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 clothing and some armor. You know, I just don't want more. to have a figure that I have to explain to my kids when they come down, you know, because they were, they were always in and out here. And I'm and like, why do you have this half naked naked lady? And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, this artist, he's so cool. And I love all his art. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> sure, dad. dad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky one. John, um, you better not let your kids find that barbarian coffee table book that you're showing us before the show started. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a lot of explaining to do with Boris yeah. Halejo and uh, Frank Rosetta art in there. For sure. Yeah. I don't think they'd get past the front cover on that. You see some mostly guys be like, nah. 
Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Uh, right. Um, so you got the equipment sorted. Um, how, so that took a couple of months, kind of here, with over and back, or? Yeah. How long I, did I that think take? Like, it took uh, a co- yeah, probably a co- a three couple months, of months, four months, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Well, like I was so, kind of wondering at, at at some stage, is like, have they just made a bunch of episodes and he's afraid to tell me or now or something? You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no that's that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, so w- we really kind of solidified the idea of doing like doing an actual podcast at Legion's Con. I think, like, even even with Wyatt, like through text, through our chat group, I think we all kind of decided then and there that we were going to do it. So you could say last November and until mm-hmm. when did we do our, when did our first episode air? Like end of February, yeah. I think. Yeah. But we had all our gear by the it beginning, that then long. it just became a scheduling thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's five of us, it's hard to get us all together. It's, it, not, it ha- it's But here's not, the thing is, it was hard, fine. but now we all want to be there. Yeah. You know? Like now it's like, actually, we haven't had an episode without anybody yet. Yeah. Which yeah, is pretty priority. amazing. Also, yeah. I will say, like, uh, John, I think you gave Noah the info about, like, the equipment that you use. And, like, Noah was, like, leading us to the water. Like, he was holding our hands. He was sending <laughs> us links on Amazon to this mic and this boom and, like, you know, this boom arm and all this stuff. Like, so it was right there. All you had to do is click it yeah. and hit buy. So that's yeah. what I did. And it's like, it was wicked easy. But, like, if he hadn't held my hand through that entire process, like, no, forget about it. And he held all of our hands through it. So he made it easy uh, for us. I, you say I, I led you to water, but, but I think what I did was I was holding your head like under the surface of the water and like, <laughs> there may have been a little of that too. <laughs> What's a little, and John was the one who filled up the pool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. John filled the pool with the water. Noah led us there and dumped us in. Yeah. You know? And then took the money out of your pocket <laughs> <laughs> to pay for but it, the dunking. It was funny because I missed the Legion's Con this past year, Yeah, um, which that's not the funny part. Um, and uh, <laughs> and nah, 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 nah. I was <laughs> yeah, and I was just like enjoying it vicariously through the guys through the chat. And mm. the same day, like Noah's like, um, I think shortly before I got the message from Noah, he was like, hey, I want to talk to you about something. I texted him with the intention, like separately from our group chat with the intention of being like, Hey, no, we should do a podcast. (laughs) And it was like the same time, but they had already figured it out there and I didn't even know it yet. Um, and Noah definitely afterwards, like he got all the information from you, which was awesome. And then spearheaded our effort, right. To get all the gear. So, um, it was great. It was awesome, but we all came together and finally made it happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, and and we went through a couple of iterations of of doing it. Uh, we didn't do Streamyard at, at first. We used another service because um, we were audio only, and I thought there's probably other things out there. Um, but it ended up Streamyard was the most reliable, and it does a bit of video as well. It's, the other ones do video as well, but um, yeah, it just seemed to end up being the kind of price to uh, reliability ratio, and the quality is pretty good. So. I was just going to say we learned a harsh lesson when we had to record an entire episode mm. again. Well, that's I have never been right. so bored talking through the exact same <laughs> stuff we talked about two days previously. Like, that's oh, when God. that was episode thirteen. If anyone wants oh to gosh. hear how bored, ironically, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was when I started to do backup recordings locally on at least on on my side, and then we have everything. Okay, it's not as uh, editable, but you have it at least. Uh, and if it's just three of you, it's it's workable. That's uh, my nightmare. Yeah, but yeah. generally with StreamYard, I found even when we had a problem, they were usually able to sort it out. There was one time we had a guest that was on a phone and uh, his audio didn't uh, record. And then uh, I had everyone else's audio except his. So I had to take the kind of global track I had here. And every time he spoke, I had to kind of clip that in <laughs> and that would be so else. hard John it was a pain in the bum but I had like two weeks before that episode was going up uh, and I kept putting it off and off and I did like all the rest of the work and then I was like okay I have to do this and it was only 40 minutes so it wasn't like a full but it was like and but it was a really good chat so I was like oh, wow and I, I stream yard were like uh, yeah it was, it was uh, yeah. no gosh, I said no <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. No, I mean, you know, like at the time, you wouldn't have thought uh, there was an issue, you know, and it did say recording in the corner, but obviously, uh, because it was on a phone, uh, StreamYard just. I think it's safe to say that one, John. There's one of the other ones we weren't mentioning names, but that one we're fine to mention. Okay. Well, he has the same name as you. 
rich. <laughs> <laughs> and he likes skeletons. <laughs> and he likes skeletons. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm picking up what you're okay, laying it's down. It's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> so is that Brad or Mike then? Because Mike's one that likes skeletons and Brad's got the same name as me. No, it's Rich Kais. This is Rich Kais. <laughs> oh. That's a ah, he's, not even, he's, uh, he's not even in the community anymore. He's self-imposed uh, exile. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rich, yeah, so Rich Kais is what do you do? amazing skeleton custom. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Not to get oh, us yeah, out of And a super nice guy. We had a great chat. Uh, I've, I have absolutely nothing. He didn't do anything wrong. You know, it was more my side. I didn't kind of uh, pay attention or something, but I was pretty sure he was uploading him. Well, that's like super <laughs> impressive because not not like to get into how the sausage is made, but yeah. on episode two, I think, of our podcast, you know, John showed me how to do everything. And then on episode two, for some reason, Joe's audio was like two and a half seconds behind mm. or ahead of everybody else's. <laughs> and that was such a headache for me. Sounds to about out right. How to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't make any sense because we all recorded at the same time, ended at the same time. And then, you know, I got to give some uh, shout outs to John because I was like, hey, John, could, you know, I did some work on it. Do you want to just like, could you listen to a segment and like, let me know or whatever. And John, John was like, I'll give it a, I'll give it a check out. And he, he edited our whole second episode for us as well. <laughs> So it yeah. was a little bit of a situation where it probably would have taken more time to to actually kind of figure out from there. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it, and it's probably easier. And then we talk about it and uh, go with it that way. Uh, if yeah. I was maybe if I was maybe in the next street to you and could come over and we sit at the computer for twenty minutes, uh, we'd have probably sorted it. But because there's like an ocean and a half a, and a huge country in between us as well, yeah, that was probably the easiest way. But uh, yeah, but I was also happy. I'm, I mean, I like you guys. I was happy to help. I mean, I love, I love this community. So you know, well, that's uh, actually yeah. something. It wasn't. I, uh, any sorry, Joe. I let you talk. I, yeah. I, I swear I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't any kind of thing where I was trying to grandstand or anything. It was just like, okay, this is cool. I can do this for them, you know, because I've done. We've done. A, bunch of episodes and i've been through all this pain and i didn't have anyone to call so, so it's easier no you actually said exactly what i was just going to say I was, I was going to mention like you you giving us the information about the gear and the equipment was like that was really really helpful but i think even more than that like we may have been able to force gump our way through that possibly i mean i'm sure it would have been even more painful than it was but the editing part of it like you behind the scenes like as far as uh, your connection to our show like you have been like very uh, important to us behind the scenes with getting um, getting the editing part of it down because that's that's something that I think would have been really hard for all of us to to try and figure out. I mean, why is a wicked smart kid? So I, ca I can't say he wouldn't have done it because he he is he's a, he's a smack cookie. But uh, but having you there to help him out and, and having him do that behind the scenes for us is invaluable. And having you there to kind of like show him all the you know the the shortcuts that you figured out on your end already was was awesome. Yeah, yeah thank you. Cheers. No problem. No problem. And uh, John's my uh, Yoda in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. He's on my back and I'm doing flips and stuff like that and. It's, it's great. It's a great time. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, that's uh, like that's all part of like making friends in the community and you know, kind of being helpful. It doesn't matter, like other people are helpful with you know, sort of not people with figures or with just kind of uh, giving people some info that you know is hard to get when you're coming from outside in the first place. Uh, and the other thing is, like at our age, uh, maybe not yours, Wyatt. You're a little bit younger. Uh, you know, making kind of new friends around your own age is, it's not the easiest. It's not that it's a hard thing to do. You, you can get loads of acquaintances, but like people that are into the similar stuff and you can actually have a conversation that you like to have rather than, you know, small talk and kind of, you know, uh, bland, you know, football talk or whatever you kind of, you know, is the generic topic. That can be tricky, you know. There's, mm -hmm. there's nobody in my town or, you know, in the next few towns that, is into this stuff so you know you're only going to find friends through the community that way for this kind of stuff and I, I think the guys can chime in too about it but we started you know we, we had our group chat for a long time and then when we finally got all the equipment together to record our first episode um ever since then we kind of all hang out like after the show too you know like it's kind of become this thing where we look forward to the bi-weekly recording because it's our time to like video chat and like actually talk as friends, you know, cause we do that all the, all the time in the group chat, but getting the face, you know, FaceTime basically to, 
to actually get to hang out and talk about everything. Like I know you guys talk about GI Joes and Motu yeah. and other things as well. Um, and like, you know, the podcast is primarily legions, but we do the same thing off, off show, you know, talking about other things we've picked up and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's the way yeah, to, stuff you know, besides toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's the way to, to sometimes drop a, you know, there won't always be too much going on with legions and, uh, sometimes drop an episode where you just have a topic to talk about you know you're not tied in you you know you got your listenership uh um they won't drop you because you're talking about gi joe for one episode and they're not that into it they might actually be interested and actually might get into it um so that's the way we look at it as well sometimes it's like yeah let's throw you know what do we like sometimes people are especially with the five of you people are probably listening because of you guys you know um, because they like one or the other and there's five of you to like. So, you know, they're going to like one or two of you for sure. You know, <laughs> maybe not. You not they're, listening, like. they're listening for Eric. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear what Eric's, what Eric's up to and doing. <laughs> and Joe. And they're Noah. Just, they're and just Mike. jealous. They're yeah. just jealous of, of Joe's good looks, you know. He's Florida yeah. tan. I joked when I, uh, when you were teaching me how to edit John and I popped into the stream yard, I put my, I don't know if anybody noticed it, but I put my name as job security <laughs> because I knew that if I learned how to edit the pod, <laughs> these guys can be as successful as they want, but they can't get rid of me. <laughs> I just got to ride true. the coattails of the sunset. No. I love it. No, we need no, your natural white. Yeah, no, you're natural. John, I was going to say, when you said, when, you, when you're our age, except for Wyatt, I noticed Joe raised his eyebrows so high they almost left his head. <laughs> so I'm guessing you might have aged Joe slightly there as well by grouping him in with us. No, well, no, no. You can no, shave I'm, his beard then. <laughs> I'm the oldest enabler, actually, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I'm the I'm grandpa. Rich is, Rich is the oldest, uh, grandpa is Joe. The oldest Euro-Legion. I am the oldest Euro-Legion, yeah. We have a big year this year for yeah. Rich. <laughs> Uh oh. It's going to be 40 again. Uh, yes. <laughs> 40. 40 for the 10th time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look a day over 37. Thank you, no. Yeah. And then, my guys. Chi- my child, on the other hand, every sorry, second she, she, she has, she's like, You're 49, you're going to be 50 soon. You're 49, you're going to be 50 <laughs> soon. You're 49, you're going to be. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep it up. Doesn't she never rely on you for, for <laughs> money and stuff? You know, she should be a bit nicer. She knows we're a soft touch, so she knows she can get away with that sort of cheek. Fair. Yeah. Um, right, guys, then. Uh, so, Noah, what's it like now to be a podcaster in the community and not just the Dio cool customizer guy? You know, is it, do, you, do you have a different feeling in the community? Do you see the community differently? Is it kind of more exciting? Um, How is you it know, since you started? It, 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 you know, I don't think things have changed much, to be honest with you. No. I mean, it we're all just friends talking in the end. That's all it is. You know, I mean, it's, that's all it is. I don't know. Oh, for don't sure. That's all it is. But special when or, you go to Legion's con, people will start talking to you in person about it. And maybe that's the point then. You well, know Eric, I, you had an experience kind of a little bit with, uh, that's what I was going to say coming up to the booth, right? Yeah. Let's hear from Eric. I want to hear what he has to say. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of funny. Like, uh, when I went to Muskie con, uh, and people kept bringing up the podcast and I don't, I don't really feel like I have a podcast. Like we're just kind of hanging out and people get to listen. But like so many times that weekend I was like, Oh yeah, I guess, I guess we do have a podcast, you know? And there was like, uh, someone grabbed me for a picture one time and I was like, Oh, I didn't really know what was going on. Like, Oh, what's happening? Like, Oh, you got to get your picture in here. You got to get with these guys. Cause this is everyone that has like a legions, uh, centric like show. And I was like, well, why, why are you, oh yeah okay (laughs) okay cool you know like it took me a second (laughs) but yeah it's people brought it up a lot of people brought it up it was cool eric the influencer he he's he's starting to get used to it but i I know it makes him uncomfortable so that's kind of why i I will never not be uncomfortable by it (laughs) (laughs) yeah it was like two of the comments on our last week's episode was like from i think one from blaze bear and another from uh, maybe Rick Emmert and they were like, oh yeah, I can't wait for my commute now in, the, in tomorrow morning and I'm going to listen to the show. And I was like, so we're going across like, you know, 
New York yeah. or wherever those guys are. I think they're near New York and where, uh, you know, we're sitting in traffic and this guys listen to us. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's I listen amazing. to you guys when I drive. So I live in central California on the central coast. And <laughs> yeah, when I drive to Southern California to visit family, yeah. which I've been doing a lot the past few months, um, it's about three hour drive. And I usually pop in two Euro Legions episodes or maybe one and a yeah. quarter or something like that on the drive. Awesome. That's amazing. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that's just so, so cool. And and I find also sometimes, I don't know if you get this way, you know, when you've kind of finished editing the show and obviously the boys have been on to record it, when you do finally publish it, it's kind of hard to let it go sometimes. It's like, mm-hmm. I, I should, you know, you know, we do our post on Facebook and whatever and you post the episode and I should just leave it. But I'm I'm always, I don't know, just fiddling around and seeing if someone commented on it and, you know, I'm like... Just go about your day. Just forget about it. <laughs> yep. you know, it's it's yeah. hard, yeah. You know, especially if you if you, there's something in the discussion that you think people might react to, or you know, uh, or, if, or if it's something kind of that you thought was really good, you're just waiting for mm-hmm. somebody to go. Oh, you know, I was going to say that for me, if it's felt like um, it hasn't felt super different, but I think the thing that makes it stand out to me um, is having our group. Because we have the Mythic Enablers kind of Facebook group, and yeah. uh, and we're almost at 200 members, which is pretty awesome, and, and it awesome. really yeah like rose pretty quickly, which is great. But it's less about that, and it's more about like the kinds of um, discussion that we have there, which is pretty fun. Because it almost feels like a, a slightly smaller cabal in a way, yeah. you know, because um, people are posting things about figures, and of course, like we're talking about the episodes and stuff like that. But people just you know hop in and and speak their mind and chat about things. And that's always like really fun. So for me, it's actually been kind of cool to just like facilitate the, the conversations that are going on there, you know, and like, yeah, that feels like a cool way to get to know like the people that are listening to our episode, because it's a lot of people from the community, you know, and yeah. like, that's what we talked about too, was like, we were super surprised um, that we got, you know, a good response, like pretty quickly. And, yeah. uh, you know, Eric said it and Noah said it in that episode, but the cabal is so supportive and just the community, this community we're in is so supportive. Like, yeah, you know, how dare we think that our friends wouldn't show up to like, you know, hang out with us and and they have, and it's awesome. Yeah. I remember when we started, so, and okay, it was just coincidental because, uh, it wasn't anything to do with Legion's cast, but they hadn't done an episode in ages. So I think there was people that like podcasts and, we suddenly dropped a podcast on them and then it was like, oh, something to listen to. Cool. You know, and there was obviously the YouTube shows were going, you know, as well. But like there is a bunch of people that like listening in their car and whatever. So that's kind of blew me away at the start as well. It was like instantly you have an audience because if you just start a podcast talking about, I don't know, random topic, it's hard to build an audience like that. Whereas with this stuff, you already have the core. Now, it might be hard to build it, you know, to crazy levels from here <laughs> because mm-hmm. you know you've got the core and people are either into mythic legions or they're not you know or, or whatever or toy collecting so outside of that but to get the core audience is amazing it's it's like it's so cool yeah there's a lot of truth in that uh, that's uh that makes a ton of sense too about like building the core out because there's only like you know a lot of the people you're listening to the show are going to be cabal members that's like the yeah. most uh common place for people from mythic legions to get together and chat you'll have some probably people from outside of that but for the most part that's that's what it's going to be and what are they like i think they're up to six thousand members now something like that yeah mm-hmm. so, which is a lot i mean don't get me wrong that's a huge huge amount but like you're all you're never going to get 100 percent of that you're only just going to get like a percentage of that so whatever that is exponentially that's probably about how far you're going to grow the show i do wonder like what kind of listeners that you guys get on your show and like that are listening right now who are like you know either what is the cabal or they're you know they're like well i'm not in the cabal you know so i i think there are yeah. those people out there because yeah. like there's a few uh not everybody uses facebook anymore yeah you know that's true um, yeah yeah we and had like a guy, i wouldn't if it wasn't for the groups so we had a guy in uh germany um he's from R- romania originally gabor and he listens to us so i'm sure he'll be listening to this um he joined Instagram just to be able to send us a message to say he liked the show. He's not even on social media, but he obviously he collects mythics. Um, so yeah, so that was, uh, that was awesome. Yeah. It was just, it was one of my favorite messages I got 
through the show. That's very me, cool. You know, obviously I love all the messages we get through the show, but like this was really just somebody that actually, you know, <laughs> was just an egg account. You know, there was no picture, there was no nothing. He obviously wasn't following anyone else. He just wanted to come on to DM us uh, about about the, the well, show. Well, that's that's funny, John, because I was I was checking out my uh, the podcast insights for our show. Yeah, and I I found out that we have a listener in Luxembourg. There you go, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and one listener in Luxembourg. You should, wow. You should have two. Yeah, that's that. a bit. Yeah. What if, if I don't download the episode, you're going to know, you see, that's, that's even yeah, more. Like, hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. That will make you like the you? third highest rated show in Luxembourg. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We should put that on our like advertising. Yeah. No, no. Get num- number get two show my, in all of Luxembourg. <laughs> get out of my territory. Get out of my. Yeah, that'll go on the T-shirt when we finally do shirts. <laughs> oh, you guys should I have a it. number one in Luxembourg Your Allegiance yeah. shirt, and we'll have a number two in Luxembourg Mythic and England shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and my face. Yeah, <laughs> <we do. laughs> if we can no, get all of John's family to download our podcast, yeah. and we could overtake him. How cool would that be? That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, Absolutely. that's like some game. That's some Game of Thrones podcasting right there. Yeah, and I'll just get all my different devices. I don't know if it counts if you're using the same account, but yeah. Um, actually, it, it does count. It I have it noticed it's gone up a, a few devices. Go. So, so how'd so you find that? I'm like, ooh, John's listening on his iPad this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only mildly creeped out by you right now, Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Isn't this a weird, weird discussion? And by mildly, so I mean strange. insanely creeped out by you right now. <laughs> well, so John was talking about how addicting it is to like kind of check on the updates of the podcast, and it is fun. Okay, so here's another another fun fact. Um. I've also been staying up super late to edit the podcast and not because like it's not done in time, but because like I I'm like you, John, where I like I've listened to it several times through and I go, oh, I should probably still cut out that um, or like get rid of that pause, you know, and it just becomes kind of fun to like, fi- you know, keep tweaking on it and and, and figuring it out. And um, I always publish it like at three in the morning, my time or something, or like schedule it to publish at like one or two in the morning, my time. So by the morning comes, I'm super tired. I just let the guys handle the promotional stuff. And then what I do though, throughout the day is like, I check on the downloads. Like it's so addicting <laughs> to check like, <laughs> it is, Oh, it is. you know, it's who's so downloading funny. it? What yeah. country are they from? You yeah, know? And, yeah. and I'm sure the guys get kind of sick of it, but I'll yeah. occasionally like screenshot and send something Never. in the group chat, you know? No, no. Never. Why would you get so sick of being loved, fun. You know, It's great. Yeah, it is. But what you notice as well, like all that editing, that tiny stuff that, you know, that definitely is important from time to time. But as you also get more into it, there'll be less and less stuff like that to edit because That's people true. get That's more true. used to to doing it. I know when there's just the three of us now on the show, if we don't have uh, guests and even with you guys here now, I can already hear I don't have much to do. Um, it's uh it's really easy to do the show. It's only then if somebody has a, you know, craps out their connection or, you know, uh, if, if somebody uh, says something completely wrong or, you know, usually me and then they'd be like, ah, oh, or if I, if we're using some of the buttons here in my thing and I press the wrong button, you know, that's happened, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there may or may not be a few times where I've said the wrong thing and edit and why it had to edit me out a little bit. Definitely had a, a couple of huge flubby flubs. No, that's, that's never happened, but Joe. What you have to do now, Joe, I don't know if you've done it, but you know, Joe's kind of a uh, very uh, sexy intro to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. need to just, to just record a super sweet take of that and then just use it so that he doesn't have to exercise his vocals did he week, did he know? tell you that before the episode because no, that's exactly no, no. what we talked <laughs> okay, about no, that's last just, week <laughs> that's just yeah that's no that's just uh, that's just logical I, I would say yeah no no you're, you're totally right joe was so, like yeah. can i please just do one take so i don't ever have to do this again and so I was john's like, so yeah, smart that, he's that already makes sense he's already figured it out like five episodes and i'm like you know what i'm really tired of been saying this every single time can we just do it once <laughs> i and just, just noticed it's always slightly different uh and not in a bad way of course i just noticed it's like oh they haven't they haven't actually just uh that yet <laughs> uh, no i tried to i'm like i'm like can we just do it from the first episode i'm like that was like my best take i did it perfectly that very first time where it just like came off the cuff and i didn't have it planned or anything and uh and no uh, and and why it pointed out he's like oh uh, yeah the, you said welcome to the inaugural episode so yeah no you're gonna have to do <laughs> yeah, it i can't use that one <laughs> i was thinking that actually i had that thought it was like oh i could just can this for them and then he said inaugural and i was like ah Eh, I don't yeah. they'd never know it. <laughs> yeah. The, the reason why right. I put that in there. Uh, the reason why I put that in there was because I thought that we would change it every week. 
So uh-huh. I thought that that would be an inaugural. Oh, that's the inaugural one. And then I also thought maybe we would just won't have an intro. Like you guys yeah. don't really, I mean, you have the guitar, which is great. The theme, yeah. but it's not like a, you know, there's no over oh, yeah, speech yeah. or anything, you know, yeah, John just I mean, says, it, Hey, it, welcome. Does, and we does, go. There's yeah. loads of different approaches. Of course you can change. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, it's, it's as you like, uh, there's, there's hundreds of ways of doing it and there's no wrong way. It's whatever works for you. Um, now I'm heartbroken. I, I also thought it'd like, be kind of fun to get rid of my yeah. my intro. <laughs> no, <laughs> like my only contribution no. to the show. Why, guy? Come on. No. <laughs> so I actually thought it'd be fun if we all did it. If we read it, like mm. every you know, everybody changed it every week, right? So like Eric read it one week, and then Noah yeah. did it another week, and Mike. Um, because I was going to say as well that like I actually think it's kind of charming that we don't record it's not like the reused track every time mm. like there's something yeah. about that that i kind of like that it's like okay every time you're listening to it like this is this episode <laughs> you know mm-hmm. even though it's not yeah. perfect you know i kind of like that i think it'd be good, good to have one in the can just in case but but i do like <laughs> i know i'm gonna get overruled but you know, artistically the week, i like the week the joe can show up you know you still like yeah. to have him introducing you uh, I think we should force Joe to do it regardless. Every <laughs> I agree. Yeah. It's kind of funny. You know, we could have like lost a voice or something. It's like, no, yeah. Joe, you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Before the I'll, show started, I had this in the bag and now my entire crew is mutinied. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, I know you're on vacation with your wife, but you're going to have to like call us up and get on there you're gonna and, and you're going to have to do it. She'll understand. It's live from Tahiti. It's the Mythic <laughs> Enablers podcast. It's like, it's like, yeah, go over and talk to, there's a waiter there in the restaurant. He has a laptop and a <laughs> USB microphone. <laughs> if you could just, yeah, and he's got the Wi-Fi password. So away you go. <laughs> You're just going to hear this. Joe, who yeah. are you talking to? Joe, get over here. We're taking pictures, Joe. <laughs> You're Sorry, missing I'm doing the my sunset, job. Joe. You're missing it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it uh, too many times. Yeah. <laughs> in That's Florida, awesome. you see it a lot, Joe. Uh, yeah. The sunset. <laughs> you don't look at the sunset because you live here. Like, That's what I mean. I think, but you like, have the option whenever you like, you know? Uh, eh. <laughs> Take it for granted. <laughs> No, it's yeah. the sunshine, sunshine state. We stay out of the sun as much as possible. We stay in the but AC. <laughs> is this the is this the best time of the year? Because it's still it's not too hot, or is it already really hot? No, it, it's uh, it's actually nice right now, but it is getting. It's like like yesterday was ninety four degrees, but not humid yet. But like wow. in the next month or two, that's when the humidity is going to settle in, oh. and then it's just going to be like you wake up and at like seven a.m. in the morning, it's already seventy nine degrees and like a hundred percent humidity. Oh. You walk outside, you're just like. You can like cut the air with a knife. It's so thick. Oh my God. Yeah. I couldn't believe we went to Florida in February and like it, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this isn't, this doesn't happen. It's Florida. Yeah. People have to buy jackets sometimes weird. when they come to Florida on vacation, like in our winter, because they think it's like super hot all the time. And like in the winter, oh, it's just mild. But like we get down to like the 30s sometimes in uh, in our Yeah, winter. it was rough. Yeah. I, it hit, I left my jacket in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It hit 60 degrees and everybody in, in Orlando just freaks out. They got parkas on and. Oh, oh right. that's accurate too. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's exactly how it is in California. If it gets below like. 65 or something like that here people feel like what am i paying all these taxes for (laughs) 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 i kind of agree i've got a little baby uh, okay okay Uh, now i understand america if people think their taxes are to do with the weather no no, (laughs) yeah i understand the country where's that weather machine (laughs) (laughs) that's just californians (laughs) yeah listen we're a different we're a different breed we got we got joe and in Florida, and then you got Wyatt in California. You guys are complaining about the sun, and and we're talking to a few guys in in Western Europe or, or over in Europe who, <laughs> yeah. who like are begging for some sun. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. We got, we got to, like uh, I, I've translated it to 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 American for you. So we we had like seventy seventy five last week or a week or two ago, and nice. uh, overnight on Monday and Tuesday this week it's going to be below thirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and my wife's freaking out because we have like cherry tree and a few other things like and she's like it's gonna happen again the cherries are gonna get like frozen and then mm-hmm. they don't grow oh yeah um, it sucks and usually we get buckets off it and that's obviously 
yeah, that's, that's a huge, sweet time of that's the year. a huge thing. Whenever it's going to get cold yeah. in Florida, they go nuts when it's going to go below zero because the citrus crop is such a big deal yeah. in Orlando and not Orlando, yeah. but the whole state. So yeah. when it goes down below, like the whole, oh, it's going to be cold. Yeah, eh, yeah that's plants. even more. That's more serious than our cherry tree for sure. Yeah, that's that's well, a whole industry. Feel bad you know? that my girlfriend offered to. She's like, "Do you want to go to the beach later?" And I was just like, <laughs> "Nah, I don't think so." <laughs> <laughs> nah. So Maybe tomorrow. Get, we get <laughs> such bad weather here that when the sun comes out, people catch fire like vampires. Don't go out. sunburn, Rich. It's just sunburn. <laughs> Rich is in, you're going to be in the paddling pool when it gets above uh, 20 degrees Celsius, aren't you? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 <laughs> bigger than himself. The pad- there, sorry, you're bigger than the paddling pool, but. No, we've got a, we've got a 10 foot paddling pool. So. Wow, what, what's it? What's a paddling pool? Is that a? Is that a? It's a little blow up inflatable it's thing. It's a little blow up. Yeah, that you fill with water. Oh, oh, like so a, it gets like, like a that. like a kiddie pool, an above ground pool. Yeah, yes, exactly. Like yeah, a kiddie right? pool, like yeah. a kiddie pool. A kiddie pool. Yeah. Adults get them in this country, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want an adult kiddie pool. That sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Well, I kind of Rich, want just, <laughs> Rich, Rich just lies in two feet of water drinking beer. You know, <laughs> it's like six inches deep. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of years ago, we had, a, we had a, a, a run of like a week of 30 degree plus Celsius, which is like, what, 90s here. And I just got home from work and just clapped straight in the paddling pool, fully clothed. It was like, I'm just so hot. <laughs> <laughs> just not even getting changed. That's I, fantastic. I love that image. Yeah. I've got a picture. <laughs> I'm sure and, uh, we have a picture, I'm sure. No? That would be perfect. That would be great. I think it's just a bridge of leg, but I think I have a picture. I'm not going to post it. Don't worry, Rich. I was just going to say, I'm envisioning Rich with like shorty shorts on and that little six inches of uh, of paddle pool water. <laughs> and the water is like, it's so hot out, the water's like already 90 degrees too. And he's just in there like miserable. <laughs> he's, he's got the... He's yeah, that would be that would be a pretty good uh, description, actually. Yeah. He's glistening. He looks like a barbarian, just glistening. Just booty shorts on and... Just looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a camera get one of my house. No, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> the Jones one two three four is also his OnlyFans account for anyone who's listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, I was I was actually curious uh, uh, if we could talk about the um, the uh, mystery box. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, what do you want to talk about? Well, I was just curious if if you guys are going to be grabbing any of them. I know the I don't know what nope. the value proposition is, being that you know you guys are overseas. It's right? probably so. what's it seventy five for the box, probably thirty to forty for shipping. So that's uh, one hundred and ten plus twenty percent. So you're talking probably one forty for the box. Um, to your door. Yeah. Don't need the figures that much. No. Um, so yeah, so same for me. It's like you know, it's one hundred and fifteen dollars. That's just under a hundred pound oh, wow. for two figures that might not want. Yeah, and it's just like yeah, yeah it's that's not definitely worth it. not what they're going to be. And I want to K- a K door. Uh, it's the only one I really care about getting, and uh, like for the collection. I mean, obviously, you could use mm-hmm. all of them for customs, and they're all there's a great selection of figures, so don't need to knock that. Um, but personally, just K door, and I'm pretty sure. He might be on the table at Legion's Con. I'm willing to spin the dice on that, you know, or hey, somebody, or somebody might have it that, for for sixty bucks, and I'd probably pay them, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. That reminds me. Um, I did listen to your guys uh, last episode, mm-hmm. and you guys kind of talked about this a little bit. Um, but I, I I don't know if that was the episode where where I actually heard Rich talk about how he liked Kador. It probably was. Yeah, it might well have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so explain, just, explain yourself, Rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, I class him as a gladiator still, not a barbarian. So oh. that's, that's why I like him. That's way, fair. He's way, from the call Yeah. Way yeah. yeah. Wow, that's splitting hairs, man. Yeah. That, that is. <laughs> I'll take it. That's how you know he's committed. I've got, I've got, to, keep, I've got to keep my heel form up, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like Joe, like in the vampire night, because it's a night. i actually love the vampires they're actually of of the bad guy monster races that is my favorite that's like one i collect all of them yeah well i guess a guy that likes the knights probably vampires aren't too far away 
And if you really want to make a knight, there most of them are just a head swap out. In my yeah, defense, actually, that's there true. were a couple they're of mostly noble back armors. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, in my defense, there are a couple of noble back characters I like. It's just the rest are rubbish. Mm. <laughs> well, well, what other ones do you like, Rich? I'm curious now. Uh, Halme Golden Tooth is my favorite dwarf. Oh yeah, yes. yep. I remember hearing uh, that in the recent episode. That's a good yeah, show. He's abs- he's absolutely awesome. He's the um, best one. And I love Clavius. Clavius is a brilliant figure. Clavius. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I was Atlas, talking... on the other hand. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> quit, quit with the heel turn. It's all right. <laughs> That's the truth. We know you love Atlas. <laughs> Camera pans around on like a wall of Atlases. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm actually a fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I imagine you ordered one from the new Rising Rising Suns. Wait, uh, uh, well, it was part of the All In, so I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I like how you're not breaking character for it at all. <laughs> you must I, be hey, like, you must. We like were we were there, guys. We were there. We saw him grinning at Gene. Yeah, Khan. he yeah. was giddy, wasn't he? He was giddy. Uh-huh. He was. I was. <laughs> it's, it's when the the Yak Ogre came out. I just I lost all composure in my face. It was just like that's <laughs> was, amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then Jeremy spotted me and pointed out to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, uh, and then he realised that you were looking over his shoulder at his phone. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he he's, he's not still, forgotten about yeah. that. <laughs> he's still <laughs> like, texting Rich yeah. about that. He's yeah. like, I, I've, I'm getting... I've taken measures this year. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got I got capitals and everything in the uh, words in full capitals and everything in the messages from Jeremy over that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. That's awesome. I love it. Um, right, guys. Uh, I'm conscious of time, so I want, to, I want to get you out in a couple of things here. So, firstly, has has the podcast changed anything in in the group between you? Is it all still the same? Is it no? No, it's uh, it's the same. It's just the things we would talk about in the group. Like we're just doing it. Is it more focused now because you've obviously you've a bit of episode prep, or you know, it's like oh, that, that that would be a good topic for the episode, or you know, just yeah. Because in the messenger chat, like someone could like just throw a picture in there, or something they're working on for a custom, yeah. or just that day, or like you know, something like a good deal they got that day, or a conversation they had with somebody on the cabal that day, or like if there's news that came out, we'll chat about that in our messenger. Mm-hmm. But like, obviously for the episode, like we're in a two hour time frame or like yeah. a, a time, a time spot. So we do kind of prep that out a little bit and kind of have like an idea of what we're going to talk about. We don't know what we're going to say ahead of time. Mm-hmm. We're just like, uh, this is a cool topic. Let's chat about that. Cause we would chat about in our regular group. So <laughs> might as well. So, so the, the group has not changed, but I will say one thing that's kind of cool about doing the podcast is even though, it's just a podcast and it's not a, no video involved. It's not YouTube or anything like that. Yeah. When we're on it, it's StreamYard like this, like yeah. you're, we're using now so we can see each other. And it's kind of cool to like talk to everybody and see totally. their faces because we, we, mm. oh, we've only all been together one time at the very, very first Legion's Con. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool to see their faces, but it's also kind of cool to hear their voices too. Cause like, I, I know what everybody sounds like cause I've met them in real life, but like hearing the, you know, that's once a year hearing them like, uh, you know, on a biweekly basis or every so often, um, face to face and seeing you, each other. It's kind of cool. I really like the dynamic of us and, and, uh, like hearing how people talk is a little different than hearing how they write. So totally. Yeah. And it also, and we get to stare at Joe, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> We're stop never going to stop, Joe. You can never stop ugly us. beard out just for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. yeah, that sounds cool. And, uh, yeah, I, I also think that, yeah, when we, when we have our text chat, uh, cause I know the guys so well now, just from chatting to them on the podcast, it's totally different than when mm-hmm. we started the text chat I'm talking yeah. about the podcast for me at least but we started the podcast I guess you had the text chat longer than we had the text chat before we started uh, so maybe that's a you had built up a more relationship through that and you'd obviously met in per- well we'd met in person but yeah, yeah. yeah we have very similar like origin stories what's mm-hmm. that oh, sorry Rich go ahead I was going to say our text chat is like our podcast Mal is the nice guy <laughs> <laughs> something will happen in the cabal and me and John will just go for it and Mal's like well yeah. but hang on a minute Mal is the same Mal is the same and we are bigger assholes Rich isn't that it yeah yeah I believe yeah. it that Malcolm he's a sweetie oh he is yeah, yeah. Mal is the most uh, authentic person on our show for sure he is literally himself 
Uh, and riches himself to an extent. <laughs> I don't know about me. That's how, I'm not going to judge myself. You yeah, the one, the one time I was really myself, you had to cut that section out, John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to, re- I had to redo it. So, um, yeah. That's brilliant. Maybe I didn't too much of I, myself. I think I kept that audio just for myself, you know, to listen there to. There was a lot of swear words yeah. in that bit of audio. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I was like, I could beep it out or I could just cut it out. No, it doesn't bring anything. Mm-hmm. So let's cut it out. Because he did it again then without the swearing. Pretty much. That's a so little, that was, I think a little too much. Of, a little too much, Richard. <laughs> it's a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> bring it down. <laughs> Not down a little bit. A little less, Richard. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I think that probably in some small way, I feel like you guys had to have inspired us, like uh, planted a seed in our heads, you know, because... Mm-hmm. I, I was going to say your origin story with you guys all meeting at Legion's Con yeah. and then, you know, kind of having your chat and then becoming a podcast is very yeah. similar trajectory to ours. Yeah. I think uh, we made a joke that we all met during the Poxis wave reveal and that we had to wait for Poxis to actually get delivered before <laughs> we that. could start a podcast <laughs> uh, that. because that's actually how it happens. So, so true. <laughs> so true. Just Poxis took a little longer than anybody expected. So. <laughs> We met during Re- Necronominus to so see how many waves we can, or how many shows we can get up to before that comes. I think it'll be sooner than we, than we think. Yeah, end of the year, I reckon. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait for those nights. I'm thinking oh it's going to be, uh, I think that's the waves. It's going to be like the, was it the third cosmic or second or third, second cosmic wave that it ends up on the table at Legion's Con. It kind of gets delivered. Mm-hmm. I reckon that'll be the that would be awesome. two before. That would be absolutely sweet. And Don't then you what, tease me. Don't you tease me. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Know, we'll with all and, the then they drop, the, <laughs> and then they drop the like gold Valiant Knight or whatever, or, you know, another Ooh, version of the Valiant Knight. That'd be an evil one. Yeah. They need to do it. Well, yeah, I had an idea for an or, evil knight. Or, it's getting really hot in here now. <laughs> I, had the, I, I had the idea that maybe they, you know, they drop like some, so that's a generic knight for all the factions. Maybe they drop like a generic barbarian or something. That would oh, be yeah, cool. oh, that'd be cool. With the bear, you know, we, no, because we got the bare arms now and the bare legs. So I think what better way mm. to put out that body through like a, some what, sort of a. What about it's going to be a bear, bear John? <laughs> Maybe a generic bear, say, yeah. B-E-A-R. Bear arms and bare legs. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> yeah, really hairy arms. Yeah. <laughs> huge arms and huge legs with a little torso and. <laughs> Pop and swipe the games. horse. <laughs> the horseman put a post out earlier today, actually saying, uh, "Here's a picture of Legion's Con last year, and the four horsemen table, just like yeah, ten figures high. You think that's a lot? Wait till this year." And it's just like, <laughs> "Oh, hello! Oh, wow! That's they got a whole room, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah that second year. room is just them this year. So it's gonna be so much stuff. That's I reckon it'll wrap around as well. So I think yeah. you'll go in and have to follow it round and out again." I think that's generally good for the rest of us who have the table in the other room because, you know, there will, there's people that want to get the figs and there's people that want to see the customizers. And obviously everyone wants to get the figs, but they, they, won't, they won't have to deal with the horsemen in the same room. Uh, so that actually leads on to a question. I was going to ask the guys, do you think you might have yourself a mythic enablers table this year? Eve, I know obviously Noah and Eric, you'll definitely have your own stuff to sell, would you do that on a Mythic Enablers table or have your own tables and a Mythic Enablers table? What are you thinking? Have wow. there been any thoughts? Wow, that's such like a, a clearly intelligent theory that none of us even came up with or thought of before you just <laughs> well, said it. Like, I'm so blown away. Like, <laughs> we did, we did talk about it a little conversation. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's definitely a little been bit. talk. I must have missed um, that. Oh, I don't. I don't know that anybody was willing to to sacrifice the convention being glued to the table. I know it's it's, right. it's already hard enough already. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Like I definitely couldn't couldn't. Uh, I mean, I did offer up to give up my table and and have that be the one. And then these guys uh, quickly hit me over the head and told me I was stupid and that I need to keep my my table. And uh, so that's where we ended up with that. Uh, and I'm just kidding. They didn't say that. But uh, anyways, I, I think maybe what we'll do is unless I mean, I'm obviously not speaking for all of us, but um, unless unless we come up with our own table and one of these guys want to want to sit at it, um, Eric and I would probably have any kind of merchandise or, mm-hmm. or swag that we might have. That makes sense. Being that we're right yeah, next just, to each other, we can. Yeah, you guys are yeah. next to each other. So I was kind of thinking oh, we no, could just, you know, yeah, take over the space a little bit. Yeah, yeah and you have so then you have yeah. the other three guys kind of occasionally helping you on pee breaks and 
you know, if you want to do a bit of shopping, you get one of your enabler buddies to come in. Sounds good. Like, it's probably like kind of what happened year, before, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, Joe was a big help last year. My blue Super I wasn't even there. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be talking. What am I saying? <laughs> well, I was going to say, we could have Wyatt help, but he's going to be manning the D13 booth. <laughs> yeah, I am mean, going be helping Chris again. When he wakes oh, up, and I always talk. <laughs> I always talk about. I always talk about the deep rabbit hole that Mythic Legions turned into, where like I saw D Amazing or somebody reviewing goblins, and I went, "I'm going to buy some goblins." And then, like, like a year and a half, two years later, I'm running the biblical themed toy line at the, the convention for these action figures. You know, <laughs> I was just like, "How did this happen? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> How did I get here? Why it's over there, like leading the rosary and everything?" <laughs> yeah. it's quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, right, guys. What about uh, group dynamics? So, who's the alpha in the group? Or is this Mike? too uncomfortable? <laughs> no, Eric. Oh. Eric's Eric's clearly the alpha. You think he he looks he seems quiet. We talk about personalities and heels. He seems quiet on the podcast, but yeah. behind the scenes. So we've got know. we've got the superior. I didn't know about this before before I looked it up because I, I did look this up because I'm sad. Um, so there is the superior who is the actual leader. And then there's the alpha who's the kind of uh, the leader, uh, hmm. the informal leader. So the people, the ones mm. that people follow. So is there is that? Don't tell Stephen between? that. <laughs> exactly yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say yeah pete's the superior and then see yeah, what Steve, I, Steve Steve just shit his pants. <laughs> i love it yeah. i would say in, in that case noah's the probably noah is the superior <laughs> i i think oh boy yeah, maybe i don't know i mean i, I, I would have said that too that then as well because <laughs> noah uh, in relation to the podcast because noah was the one for me, or at least on my perspective, because my small involvement was was the one that I was in contact with. So um, I would I thought actually Noah was going to be the one running the whole thing, but he's obviously uh, intelligent and he <laughs> delegates <laughs> the bits as well. So, I delegated know. the hell out of it. Clearly, <laughs> 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 <Joe, laughs> called me Nick Fury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he told me I needed an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, smart though, you know, uh, yeah. y- you, you can't do everything yourself for sure, you know? Yeah, we definitely share the load, it, all of us. I think it's, we yeah, still share over ownership of it, honestly. It yeah, was kind of cool how Wyatt took charge with like the outlines and stuff. We were like, okay, well, Wyatt can keep us on task then too. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah. he's yep. got the personality for it. And I think he does an a, absolutely fantastic job at doing it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks, Eric. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a little something. We all bring a little something to the <laughs> show and to the group, but yeah, there's, I, I, I don't know. I think we're having a hard time answering because it it's like not really an alpha kind of thing, kind of feel or anything like that. We're all like, yeah. like, the chat was always just five guys contributing and the show is just kind of five guys contributing too. I mean, yes, so, like we have our outline and why it keeps us on track during the show uh, as far as, you know, being like kind of our narrative host and, you know, um, uh, Noah definitely helped us along with getting the gear and like, uh, you know, come on guys. Uh, so when do you think you guys might have your microphones? You know, when are you going to yeah. have the, you know, kept us on track, but like, there's not really any, yeah, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like there's any alpha kind of thing in the room. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I could be considered more of a project manager on, from, from the beginning standpoint. Uh, You're a producer. Like the, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's it. <laughs> Like so you like the evil it. genius behind it all, and Noah. I, uh, you know what? I, I you think sat there with I, a cat on your lap, going like, ha, 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 ha. There, there I think may maybe if you had framed it, cat. I think maybe if John had framed it, like who's the evil genius of your group, that would have been better than Alpha, because I think <laughs> you <Yeah>. nailed it. <laughs> yeah. well, I've like, always been kind of worried Noah's behind the scenes, like uh, <laughs> pulling strings. <laughs> That's why I have co-hosts. Wow. Yeah, but. It, but I was going to say, it's like with us, you know, I generally keep us ticking over, but like some of our best episodes have been because of the guys kind of having uh, ideas about stuff or, um, and that's awesome. You know, definitely yeah. one of the, like some of the ideas uh, we've had over the time uh, that our most successful episodes have been from Rich, you had the one with the the characters um, oh, that's what I was going to say. I loved yeah. that episode. And yeah. I know that was a, the, a rich, rich joint and it was yeah. really good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, that was fun to do though. It was indeed. Yeah. Uh, correct. So yeah, um, 
It's I, always in the end. I, I try to do the same thing, John. Oh, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, it's always that. in the end a team yeah. thing. Like, obviously, it's you can't, you know, everybody can't do anything. But, yeah, you need somebody at, at some point to just drive it a little bit. Uh, yeah. But you also need people that are cool with that, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? That's um, no, bro. Yeah. He's definitely in the driving seat then. <laughs> like I said, he's <laughs> back there pulling strings. You know, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> well, you go, I, yeah, I guess you go there. <laughs> Part of part of my job is actually, you know, connecting people and and helping helping people get through mm. things, and so that's a big, maybe it, it's something, it's somewhat of a strong suit there. Yeah, but, yeah, clearly. Yeah, but we all like I I think that our dynamic, you know, going back to the origin, you know, the origin of of this conversation, our our dynamic is is super cool because we've got, even though we're all pretty even keeled and and really mellow guys um we're all we're all just a little bit different and we all have our quirks and i think that's what makes it fun we just fit together like a puzzle like yeah it's perfect yeah we Which form like mean? voltron like you said this morning bro <laughs> voltron. yeah <laughs> yeah, voltron. yeah voltron. <laughs> yeah i think um we have like an outline like the guys are saying like like i put together the outline but my whole feeling on it too and like i said this like right before we recorded our first episode was I didn't want anybody to feel nervous about it because I think like we weren't sure if anybody would watch it or listen to it for one thing. But I was just like, we just need to treat this like it's a conversation because I think that, and I think that's what's come out about our podcast too, is that yeah. it just feels like you're hanging with some yeah. some guys because I try to keep, like we have topics, but I kind of just let them go off and do their own thing. And then totally, maybe yeah. if we get way off of something, I try to bring it back, right? But, you know, I, I, I have a loose leash on these guys. Definitely. Yeah, and it's like the only a, way to do it. I always yeah. have my a bunch of questions, and I don't get to them all. Uh, even with you guys now, we're chatting. I have a bunch bunch of stuff that I was like, okay, if if we are kind of stalling, I'll bring this in. But I don't. If it's going well, I'll just sit back and go, "This is great." You know, I you know should rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, actually, go ahead if you have any rapid. No, fire. no, no, I, I'm no, loving no, our no, these, no. These too, were the way, these great. weren't rapid fire type for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, so, and do you have any followers in the group? That was the other, the other part of that, that question uh, and any troublemakers. So troublemakers is a fun one, uh, but troublemakers usually, I don't think so. You wouldn't get you. What done was the other one? Uh, just follower, someone that just kind of follows along and. I don't know about follower. We're all really active. No. I bet yeah. Mike would probably say he's a follower. No, he's I not. Think that he is. I, I listened to yeah, the episodes and I was not. the first thing, the most thing I was surprised about on when I listened to the first show when I got the files and whatever was Mike is like one of the, he's a rock star. Like he's yeah. literally yeah. like, yeah. and I so say too. this to Rich and Mal yeah. since I was like, Mike is like, whoa, you know, he's, he can talk and he can like, he's, he sounds like he's on radio and he sounds yeah. really good. Uh, yeah, he's and he sounds good. Yeah. 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 yeah it's exactly. that Jersey it's, accent, man. It's, <laughs> and, and when I say sounds good, I don't just mean, you know, yeah, he's, he, his mic sounds good. I mean, he sounds good. You know, he's right. He talks yeah. well. He, yeah. he, he ticks he has, all the boxes. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah. So I, I'm really like, and I noticed yeah, when it, we he, edit he, his episodes or when we edit the episode, I, yeah. I have to do very little to Mike's yeah. audio stream, you know, like, yeah, I find myself doing things um, in my speaking like ums, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I did, I did a little bit too many of those. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. or I'm from California, so we say like a lot, oh, you know? Yeah, so yeah well, Ireland is, uh, it must be, a, must be a West Coast thing. The West Coast of Ireland, we say like, 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 like. Like, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'd say that probably we're, we're all probably equal troublemakers to yeah. answer that question. <laughs> That's perfect. That, oh yeah, we've, I've of. had to remove, I think, comments from at least one of every person in our group at some point, just because we're like, eh, that's maybe, maybe pushing it a little bit. <laughs> Except for me, I say something and I'm like, take it out. And you guys are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that days. <laughs> Poor Eric. <laughs> right. right. Poor Eric. Then uh, I propose to get out of here on this question. So if, if the horseman could surprise you with one figure this year what would it be it's need to be too detailed but what would you like to see the horseman kind of throw at you this year during the year of uh the anniversary or whatever is eric ready he, he seems to have i, a I want tip. i want a white knight 
Ooh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see the what you did there. The cabal, and <laughs> I, topical. And I see what you it, did there. It became uh, somewhat of a, uh, what is it, like a buzzword, but man, I want a white knight now. Yeah, we talked about that in our <laughs> chat. Like, that was, and then, like, yeah, it, it kind of took on, took, took on a life of its own in our in our little group chat and it was fun like i i agree yeah. that that would be that would be excellent um you know defender of the realm <laughs> it's just, it could be the second perfect. cabal figure yeah, yeah totally. there's waltor <laughs> and they could put the next cabal faction uh-huh. figure make it yeah, a white knight i would give him a white that. give him a white t-shirt as well as the yeah. piece of piece. at first i'm like eric Eric wants a white knight. I'm like, it threw me off, and I and I even know, I, I even know the backstory. Oh, shame on me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. If I got to pick like my own figure or something, I really, really want them to surprise us with a knight. Would not be what it is. Not Joe. No. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. But if, not if it's a white knight, I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> Defender of the realm. <laughs> Maybe we get that in figure obscura. Surely that's something that exists. That's pretty. Yeah, dangerous. it's it's somewhat of of its uh, a, a legend of, of its yeah. own right now. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, I, I, our I own feel mythology. like I feel like uh, I want to say like a creature. You yeah. know, like it would be cool to get more. I was looking at the the recent cosmic wave, and they have some like I like that the 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 prospect of doing a cosmic line kind of implies that you're going to have to i was thinking about their manufacturing and creating all these different like molds and bucks and things like that because in sci-fi there's different you know mod- creatures of different yeah. sizes aliens with different arms and eyes and all that stuff um and i thought wow that's pretty cool that they're actually investing in creating more body types because i feel like in legions and i love legions but yeah we've kind of got the 1.0 and 2.0 bucks and then like the brutes and even the ogres but they're all kind of similar you know and so it would be cool to see, you know, like they started to add this kind of scaly textured um, buck with uh, Cosmic Wave 1. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to use that maybe for some lizard people or dragon people at some oh, point. Oh, you're talking. Um, yeah. I know. Yeah. Rich, 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 excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if I would like to see like... We're looking for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I liked, I would like to see like they've teased werewolves for a while too. Like oh, that would be kind of yeah. cool to get like a... You know, some more, um, or we, we even talked about in our last episode, uh, like Eagleus and how, you know, we're kind of like, not all of us are huge fans of the birds necessarily, yeah. but what I personally appreciate about them is the sort of the anthropomorphic shape of that body, you know? Mm. And so I think that it would be cool to see some new like torso pieces, um, in the line. But I also think it would be great just personally. Um, I know I've talked to is, is Ramirez about this, but we both want to see like a native American or like indigenous inspired oh, yeah, you know, would figure cool. yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the line. That would be pretty awesome. Like a tribal, yep. some kind of tribal person. Is there anything they can do in figure uh, obscura, uh, to do with that maybe I, as well? Maybe. I, I think that I, 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 so like as a native person, I know that sometimes people are hesitant to talk about yeah. our culture just a, for a, a fear of offending. Of, uh, appropriation yeah. maybe or... Right, and appropriation. So, I mean, I would like want to empower them. They also have Sherry. Sherry works um, in the studio as a painter. Right. And she's native as well and pretty connected. Ah, and and you, so, that's why you have a... It's not just why, but that is one of the reasons why you have a connection with her. When you were yeah. there, you had a kind of... Mm-hmm. A little bit of yeah, a I, I, I noticed like real quickly. I was yeah. like, "Oh my gosh, hi!" And we talked forever. Um, <laughs> she's that. great, and she's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's yeah, so it would awesome. Be, it and would so be like, it would I, be like me if there was an Irish person in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> you know, oh, exactly. In, you know, in yeah, New Jersey, crack. I'd be like, "You're oh, in yeah. Jersey. Yeah. They're all Irish, aren't they?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's, you know, where's the best pub uh, around here? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I would encourage them if if they did want to do something like that to do something like that. And I think that they're they're aware enough to be respectful of it. You know, well. Yeah, because like the one thing I don't want to do, and I think a lot of Native people would agree, is like we want to like share our culture too, you know, because we don't want people to be afraid to be involved, right? Um, They just do it in a respectful way. So absolutely, and if they have Sherry there, I mean, she'll obviously flag up anything. uh, If yeah, I would think so. I would think so. I think so. And they can reach out to Wyatt. He's he's happy to to advise and get a sneak peek. In my line, guys, I'm I'm always here. Future figures. I love that. I love that. Joe, what you got? How many nights? I've got one. I've, oh. It is Ooh. it is on the night it is on the night track. Yeah. But um uh I have thought this for a while anyway, but I was watching Kingdom of Heaven yesterday. 
Um, mm-hmm. And I was checking out the Templars cool. armor in that, and it's yeah, it's a cool movie for sure. Yeah, and I I I kind of knew this already, but I hadn't watched that movie in a long time, so I, I really picked up on it while I was watching it. But back in like the in like Middle Ages, like they weren't in like plate mail armor like our knights are. That was that yeah. came much later. It was much uh, you know for for a very long time. It was like uh, chain mail armor. And they would, it was basically just chainmail armor. And in that movie, it was basically chainmail armor with like the tunic over their, over their torso. So I'd like to see like, a, like a more, um, which I guess, I guess a lot of legions fans would think of that as like a foot soldier, but it's really not. It's, it's yeah. really just like an earlier form of like the, the armor style. And then it kind of came down to the foot soldiers is like, that was what they could afford to wear. But the, um, the, the chainmail like arms, the chainmail on the legs, and then like a like a cloth. It wouldn't have to be like actual soft goods cloth. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I guess they could pull that up too. But like the cloth and like their their tunics were were low. Like so, like you have the Templar, the original Templar, with like the the tabard in the middle, just that piece of plastic. Um, but like theirs were more like almost like a, a coat, like a surcoat that like went around them. Yeah, around their waist and like went down around like their thighs. Or so you would probably have to do that in soft goods so you could like maintain some of the articulation. But yeah, like a fully chain mailed knight, uh, and and they already kind of have the start of that. So I hope they're already on this this tip. But like the Sir Elijah from Necronomicus has mm. like the chain mail quaff and then the little neck piece of chain mail. So like they're yeah. already sort of like like have a little piece of that. And I hope that they did that because they're gonna maybe you know ex- expand that down the line would be cool yeah i yeah. mean the, the those nights when they drop as as you kind of said earlier uh in your excitement about that wave uh they are gonna be like valiant knight on steroids kind of thing you know yeah yeah i think they are too they're gonna be really yeah. really cool although valiant knight was already on steroids so. Sh- sure but like you know once we get that 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 same book with the soft goods plus other parts like as you said the chain mail pieces and you know yeah uh, you're gonna be able to do so face, much with this face plates on on i think a couple like uh, adelric i think as a face plate yeah all that kind of fun stuff so uh, yeah yeah i can't wait yeah absolutely how about how about you mr uh no bro what are you looking forward to <laughs> well i don't i'm just gonna i'm gonna borrow something that we that we kind of talked about in our chat a little bit um we discussed the the prospect of like re-releases version twos Mm. and and how like maybe some cool ways they could roll those out so one of the one of the things we talked about was um like a two-pack like and and i know it's something similar to what you guys have talked about in the past like that good versus evil like we like that dynamic it's kind of neat um, yeah. so what better, what better way to, to do an Otho version two and maybe an Urzok version two, um, than to Which release those guys as to, to get people hyped up about the video game that we haven't heard much about. Yeah. Lately. Um, how, how about they, they have those tied in with that somehow and give us those figures. That. Anyway, we can I get the figures that. would be great. I mean, that's, that's. Yeah. That's truly what we're after Even, uh, in the first place. But <laughs> I, I know you, Mal, you, you think that the Legion's Con Day 2 figure is going to be uh, some sort of a version 2 or a character I, like yeah, a bit just, like Vorgus last year. So this, this yeah. for me, could be a, a possibility for Legion's Con sure. Day 2 or similar. I wouldn't think another two-pack, though. I think, right, because Poss- we've already got a two-pack. Not, but, but 25 years of the studio, 10-year anniversary, you never know. I don't True. know. It's going to be a Treadway Corn Boy two pack. I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost too cool to have a tribute figure, if you know what I mean. That's fair. <laughs> it's like, well, there's been a few others that have had tribute figures. So now it's like, well, you know, if we get one now, we, 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 we're in a certain point in the queue. Whereas I want to buy don't a get Treadway one, and like, Corn Boy bust. I want, oh, yeah. I want like a statue. Like that they would need be a, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. something extra. Be set something apart. Extra. You know? Yeah. 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 I love, I love the it. Mountain Rushmore of of the studio. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Like, there you go. Now Chris. you got it. Oh yeah, they can just carve it into the mountains of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> if you I zoom in, Chris is like inside of Jim's nose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's been great with Chris in China, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, you can ask. You can ask. Yeah, because uh, we're going Jim. to get so many awesome pictures. Uh, Jim has been looking, I saw a couple of pictures. Jim has been looking surprisingly happy. So 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Jim is just chill. I think he's 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 a cool old dude or older dude. I wouldn't say he's old. Uh, he's just uh, he realizes now he just goes with the flow, which is what we should do. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> well, boys, thanks a lot for this chat. Uh, highly appreciate it. I was once we actually, you know, started talking and you guys got off the ground. I already said to Noah we need to do a little bit of a crossover, uh, which is what we're going to do because we are also going to uh, record a little chat with you for your podcast, um, and you can you guys can promote that in whatever way you want. But uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, that's going to be our crossover. So uh, we're going to talk about some really cool stuff on that. I'm going to leave that in suspense. And uh, you should definitely get on over to the Mythic and Labourers feed for that. Sound good, guys? Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you, John. No problem. Well, there you go. Take it easy. Right, Rich. Stay safe out there, everybody. (laughs) Bye, everybody. (laughs) Cheers. Good luck. (laughs) 